Today's service will follow the first creation story told in the book of Genesis with music and prayers between readings. And we have an update from Jaden. Good morning. Good morning. The month of October has been declared Socktober at Peoples for a very good reason. We are collecting socks for all ages to be donated to Aiden Milan for their Christmas care packages. Everyone needs socks, especially as the colder weather begins. You can bring in socks for men, women, boys, girls, and even babies. Our laundry basket in the Narthex is filling up thanks to your generous donations. We have two more Sundays to fill the basket to the brim. Bring in your socks next Sunday. Let's sock it to them again this year. Thank you. <laughs> Please join me in reading the opening prayer as printed in your bulletin or on screen. The Lord is God and has given us light. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. I will praise you. We give thanks to you, Lord, for you are good, for your steadfast love endures forever. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Architect of the universe, your voice called out over the deep and darkness and brought forth light. Your voice called out over the waters and brought forth life. Your voice called out over the earth and brought forth our very beings. Your voice continues to call out in our universe and bring new hope and new life. Help us to hear your voice above the hum of the highway and the buzz of business talk. Help us to hear your voice in the cries of children, in the soft tones of the sick, in the pleas of the poor. May we hear listen and respond to your voice in our lives and in our world. In your name we pray. Amen. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day.
And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry and land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the third day.
And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. God created the day and night and gave us the light of love so that we could find our way towards kindness, justice, and community. But sometimes we close our eyes or block out the light or take the wrong path or just stumble on the way. For those times, we ask God's forgiveness and open ourselves up to be guided back towards kindness, justice, and community. Please join with me in our responsive prayer of confession, followed by a time of silent personal confession. Let us pray. For the times we've hurt you, forgive us. For the times we've hurt others, forgive us. For the times we've hurt ourselves, forgive us. For we are made in your image, and it is good. God gives us breath and life. God gives us free will. God offers us wisdom. God offers us grace. God made humanity and called it not just good, but very good. Friends, believe this. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. By the grace of God, we are forgiven. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters 
and every living creature that moves of every kind and which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. Please pray with me. When we pray together, we multiply our joys and divide our sorrows. Let us pray. Lord, you give life to life. From day one, your spirit brooding over the deep, your wind rushing, your breath filling. As creatures of the earth, we rejoice in life using our breath, our being, to raise this hymn of praise. Hallelujah to the sun's hot passion, embracing the ground's great shoulders. Hallelujahs for the growth from seed to plant, greening the earth, its fruit, beauty, and food. Hallelujahs for generations of life, tumbling one after another. Life creeping, swimming, flying, running, below, above, upon, within. All the world sings, calls, signals, speaks. Praise to God whose glory grows in all that breathes. Knowing your power, knowing your love for us, we bring our prayers to you, naming out loud or in our hearts, those who are particularly on our minds this week. Give these people wisdom and courage and above all, love. We pray for all we know who are sick in mind or body, or who suffer from chronic conditions, who are in need of your comfort. 
We long for reconciliation with those we have harmed with harsh words or harsh actions, and for peace among our warring nations. Fill us, enliven us, to be ambassadors of life abundant, breathing out your song in harmony, singing to you, our Creator, whose glory shines through all the world, as we join together in the words of the prayer your Son taught us long ago. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in God's own image. In the image of God the Lord created them. Male and female, God created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth and every tree with seed and its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that God had made, and indeed, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day.
From the very beginning, God called us to care for each other and made us to live in a community. We are called to be stewards of the earth, to care for plants and animals and each other. In sharing the fruit of our time, skills, and resources, we multiply the good that we are able to do in our community and in our world. If you are able to, please place your offerings in the plates being passed. Alternatively, if you visit peoplespresbyterian.org, you'll find a donate button at the top of the page that will link you directly to a secure page where you could make a donation online. We appreciate the generosity of the people's family as we live out our faith in mission and in ministry. Let us pray. Bless the fruit of our labors so that the work we do in your name can be not just good, but very good. Amen. We will have a word from stewardship, Ken London. not going to sing it. <laughs> yeah. Greetings. I, I'm Ken London. I'm the chair of the stewardship committee. And I first want to start out by thanking all of you for your contributions over the past years, um, both your cash contributions and your talents that you've contributed to this church to keep us going as best we can. Leah has written a beautiful um, few words, a 
the, the insert in the bulletin there, and it just talks about some of the things that we have done in this church. Many of those things are not coming out of the budget. They're coming from special contributions that we've all made. And again, we appreciate that. Now, for today, I want to talk to you about church pledge campaign. Uh, we're nearing the end of that, and all of you should have received a letter in the mail asking for your contributions, your statement of pledge for this coming year. Um, the past few weeks, you've also heard sermons from Leah on generosity. She's got a couple more to do here. Uh, you've also heard from Carol asking or telling you about the things that they've done, things they would like to do in CE. Same thing for Ken Guzman, things that Buildings and Grounds has been able to accomplish with the, the budget that we had for this year. I want to tell you there's a lot of things that have been going on in the church that have not come out of the budget because we haven't had the money to do it. However, things that needed to be done, such as the parking lot recoding and trying to seal that up before it gets any worse than it is. Now we have decided to go ahead and do a special request for additional funds to pay for the parking lot. Um, you know, it's, it's, I believe the figure was around $3,000 that we're gonna have to cover for that. We have the money to do it, so we did go ahead with the project, but it would be nice if, if anybody wanted to contribute additional for that. Uh, just make sure that your, your check um, has that noted on the memo section that it's for the parking lot project. I'm also wanting to challenge you today to look at your pledge for this coming year. Does it reflect what God asks of you? Did you pray to God to ask for what you should pledge for the coming year? Does it show your commitment to the PPC and all the things that we have done and what we could do for the future? We all have received so much through our involvement and friendships here at Peoples. We would like to have all members make some sort of a pledge to support God's mission through the church. Pledge cards were included with the letter that you received in the mail. And if you've misplaced that, we have more on the table in the narthex um, that you're more than welcome to grab up. Or if you want to increase your pledge that you already have made, uh, you can take a new pledge card for that also. Um, if you have any questions about pledging or what we have put together for our budget for this current year, 2023, please talk to one of us. Uh, Chris Wetzler, our treasurer, uh, Chris can get you information on that. Again, there's pledge cards out on the Narthex table. Uh, we would love to have all of the pledge cards turned in by October 22. That's next Sunday, so that we can get busy with formulating next year's budget with the funds that we have available. Let's all give to the kingdom of God. Thank you. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished in all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that God had done and rested on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it because on it God rested from all the work that had God had done in creation. <laughs>
Please join with me in reading our affirmation of faith. We believe in one God who is creator, maker of all we see and all we don't see, who is ruler of the universe, source of all creation. We believe in one God who is Jesus Christ, God from God, light from light, true God and true human. He is one with the creator, the word made flesh, our Messiah, savior of all creation. We believe in one God who is Holy Spirit, breath of God moving among us, who is one with the creator, one with the Christ, our comforter and our guide, mentor of all creation. We close today with a reading from the Gospel according to John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. Hear now the word of the Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peoples, God created everything out of nothing, made us in God's own image, and called us not just good, but very good. In all that we do, let us remember that we are called to care for the earth and to care for each other. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all and all those we love, and with all those whom the Creator calls us to love. From wherever we are, let us serve the Lord, Creator, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> 